Hello, this is question one from the 2020 Ordinary Level Leave Insert Maths exam. Up the top right of the screen, you'll find a card that will bring you to a playlist of all the solutions to the questions in this paper. And below the video in the description, you'll find a link to an image of this question. So you can try it in your own time before looking at my solution. This question has a lot of reading in it, but not many numbers. But it's going to be important to take those numbers out. Read the question very carefully. Uh, take all the numbers out. Read it again. Make sure you're answering the question as well. That's the most important thing to do in these English-based ones. This question is all about a person called John who works in a sales team. He earns a basic uh, rate of 12.6 euros an hour. In addition though, he also earns commission of 22% on every, all the sales he makes after the first 200 euros. So if he sells 200 euros, he makes uh, no commissions, but if he sells 210 euro, that 10 euro he's going to make commission on. Right, the first question then asks us, during a particular week, John works 45 hours at the basic, at, at the basic rate, uh, and he has sales amounting to 350 euro. Find out how much his gross pay is. Lots of students get confused, which is gross pay and net pay? Well, they've given you a clue here. Gross pay must be the one before tax because they haven't told us anything about tax. So it must be the one before tax. They're not going to try and trick you in the exam. All right, so uh, how much does he make? Well, he works 45 hours. He gets paid €12.60 Euro an hour. We just multiply them together. We'll get uh, 12 uh, Let me check my notes what we get. We will get 567 he then also makes money on his sales. He sold 350 euro worth of stuff. He only makes money after the first 200 though. So let's find out how much he makes money from. Okay, 150 of sales he's gonna make commission on. So he's gonna make 22% commission. Your calculator has a, has a percentage button. So you get 150% 22 will give you the answer. But also we can just multiply it by 22%. Because 22% is the same as 0 0.22. Just divide 22 by 100. That's all. That's the only difference between a percentage and a number. And if we multiply this in, we get 33 euros. Okay, so he earns this much from his wage, this much from his commission. Add them together, we get 600, uh, 600 euros. That's his gross wage. All right, part two of the question says, in the following week, the next week, he works 51 hours, let's start down here, 51 hours, and that includes three hours on a Sunday. And because Sundays you earn extra, let's see, he earns one and a half times his basic wage. Then they tell us his gross pay that week was 713.2. Find the amount of sales John made in this week. Okay, so we they want us they want to know this number here. It's three hundred and fifty in this question. So how do we get that? We let's just play around with these numbers a bit. Let's find out how much money he earns on his wages, and we can start thinking through if you want. They tell us he earns this much money total. So let's find out how much money he earns on wages, and we'll find out how much he must have made from his sales. Once we have that number, we can figure out how many sales there must have been. Okay, so first job is to find out how much he got paid. He worked 51 hours, but let's not multiply that by 12 and a half, 12.6, because three of those hours were special. That means 48 of them, 51 minus three, 48 of them were not special. They were normal hours, they're 12.6. But then three hours were special. There's a couple of ways you can do this. You can do three multiplied by 12.6, multiplied by one and a half because it's one and a half times or i know lots of people i think when i used to work at a job that paid double time i used to instead of thinking of three hours i used to think oh i'm working four and a half hours i'm getting paid four and a half hours so you could just replace the one and a half and the three with a four and a half so four and a half times this either way you do it uh, you will get out 56 Point seven, and I never put this number in. Let's see, it's 604.8. And if we add them together, we'll get 661.7. That's how much money 
you got he got paid from his wages that week. But they already told us that he he got um seven hundred and thirteen point two gross wage that week. So where did the extra money come from? Must have come from his commissions. So let's find out what. I, yeah, let's just take them away here. If we take these away, we are let do it on calculator. Don't do it the old way. Uh, calculator is much better and faster. He must have made seventy uh, fifty one uh, euros and seventy cent. That's how much he must have made from these sales. That's now this is only twenty percent, twenty two percent of the sales. So we need now need to use this number and figure out how many sales there were. So he earned twenty two percent. 22% got him this 51 dollars, this 51 euro, I keep saying dollars, this 51 euros and 70 cents. So we want to know what the total amount was. We know what 22% was, what was the total amount? Some students are good at this, they remember to just uh, divide this by 22 and multiply by 100. I like to do a slower way than that, but it's the same thing, you'll see now. 22% is this. I like to find out what 1% is. I always find out what 1% is. It's a nice number that goes into everything. So if 22% is this, what's 1? Well, I just divided by 22. So 51.7 divided by 22. Again, put on the calculator, and I get a 2.35. I know what 1% is. Now, it's easy to get to any percent you want. If they ask what 32% is, 98%, any percent is easy. One goes to every number quite easily. One goes to 100 very easy. Multiply by 100. Multiply this by 100. We get 235. He made 51 euro and 70 cent commission because he sold this much extra. Because remember, they told us he only makes money after the first 200. So many students probably would have forgot this part. So he made, if they went got this far, it's tragic they forgot that, but he made, he made commission on this amount, but he must have also first sold the 200, 200 euros. He had the, the company said, here, sell 200 and you can make money on the rest. So how much sales did he have? He must have had 435 euro in sales. Okay, I better rub out a lot of this so I can do part B, because now we're finally going to pay our taxes. We find out how much money we earn, now let's pay our taxes. They tell us that John pays tax at the standard rate of 20%, and then at the higher rate of 40%. They also tell us he has a weekly tax credit. So remember, the tax credit is the number, you work out how much tax you owe, and then you can take this away. Because this is like the number someone else pays for you. You find out how much tax you owe, Somebody else will pay this for you. And what else? He has uh, the standard rate cutoff is 678. Now that means any money you make under this, you only pay 20%. Any money over this, you have to pay 40%. So then they tell us, this is the second week here. They tell us he earns F 713 points, sorry, point two, point two, uh, uh, 713 and 20 cents. All right, uh, let's, we, let's work out what tax he pays. So he earns he, all of this amount he has to pay tax on. Sorry, this amount here, he has to pay tax on the first 600. And, okay, let's break this up. Let's break this up here. He's going to have to pay tax on 678 euro and then the rest. So what is the rest? Let's just take them away. That is uh, 35.2 euro. So he has to pay tax at the normal rate here and at the higher rate here. So let's do that. Let's multiply this one by 20%. That's 0 0.20, that's 20%. Multiply this one by 40%, 0 0.4, or 0 0.40 if you'd rather. And then on this amount, the tax he's going to pay is, I'll just get my notes a little closer here. It is 135.6 euro. And the tax he has to pay, and this is 14 and 8 cent, 14 euro and 8 cent. So the total, let's add these together, we get 149.68. That's how much tax he now, is up, now, now owes. But remember, this 26 uh, euro of tax credit, 
somebody else pays that for him. So he doesn't have to pay all this. We can go ahead and take 26 uh, away from it, which leaves him with a bill of 123 euro and 68 cent. Lots of students stopped right here on questions like this, but they didn't ask about how much tax he paid. They asked, what, what was his uh, net income? Basically, how much money does, will he have at the end of the week? We know his gross income is 713. Net income is after you pay tax. That's the only reason we wanted to know the tax, so we could take it away from our full amount. So he thought he was earning this, but he actually only earned um, 123 and 68 cents less. And if we take that away, we get 589 euro and 52 cents. That is his net income for that week. Okay, if, I hopefully that was helpful. If you have any follow-up questions, leave it in the comments below. And until next time, have a good day.